hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel trouble free in this video let us discuss about the topic of outlier analysis in the subject of data mining so before getting into the video i've started a new channel with study abroad content if you're interested i'll give the link of the channel in the description just have a look uh, so now in this video we will learn what do you mean by an outlier so what do you mean by an outlier analysis and what are the different methods you have for uh, detecting an outlier and what are the different types of outliers all all about outliers we are going to learn in this video okay so by watching the previous videos in the data mining by now you would have come to an understanding that outlier is nothing but a abnormality okay among the data objects the one which will not obey the general behavior gen which will not obey the general behavior in the sense suppose we are writing or see suppose everybody is walking in the forward direction so from that group if any one person is walking in the reverse direction then that person is a outlier okay when compared to the common behavior if anybody is uh, behaving against to it then it is called as an outlier which will not obey the general behavior and the analysis of these outliers is called as the outlier analysis got it so this is all about the outlier analysis so now we have the outlier detection outlier detection is nothing but it is the process of detecting the outliers that is you will be identifying the outliers okay you identify the outliers and subsequently that is um, immediately you will be removing them as well okay so outlier detection does not only means identification of the outliers you'll be even removing them and in order to do the outlier detection we have two methods statistical and the proximity okay we have two methods one statistical and number two is proximity okay so what do you mean by statistical approach is it is based on the probability of the data points suppose you are having 10 data points then uh, for all those 10 data points you will be calculating the probability okay so whichever data point is having the lowest probability that will be considered as the outlier so the low probability ones will be considered as the outliers got it the stat statistical approach is basically it basically depends on the probability if low probability you will be categorizing it as an outlier in this also we have again two methods parametric methods and non-parametric methods i'm not explaining in depth about what parametric and non-parametric in this video we will be making separate videos for those okay next comes a proximity based approach so in proximity based approach it is based on the location of the data points location of the data points in the sense suppose this is our um, you know this is the place where are the our data point is supposed to be suppose you are having all the data points here like this like this like this and you have one data point away so like it depends on the location whether it is within the cluster or it is outside the cluster or uh, in the grid or so it it completely depends on the location of the data point okay in this also we again have different types first is density based approach okay second is distance based approach okay third is grid based approach and fourth is deviation based approach so about all these also separate separate videos i'll make so this is all about the outlier detection methods two methods and then those two also statistical proximity in those two also we have more sub methods okay now next types of outliers so in types of outliers we actually have three types they are very easy first one is the global or point outliers second one is the collective outlier third one is the contextual or conditional outlier so first is global global means nothing but when a single data object deviates from the rest of the data points the such outliers are called as the global or point outlier see here we have all the outliers in this way right here we have every all the outliers that one place in a particular order but this oh, this single data object sorry data objects uh, this single data object is not in 
general behavior with them it is not along with them right Away from them so it is not obeying the general behavior that is only single data point will not obey not a group of data points got it only if single one or two data points are not obeying they will come under global or point clusters next collective clusters so collective clusters are nothing but in the global or point what we have we have single data point is not obeying right but here we will have the group of data points group of data points will deviate from the actual behavior it is called as the collective the word collective itself says right so the group of data points will be deviating away okay done na? next after collective we have the last type that is the contextual or conditional outliers so contextual or conditional outliers is nothing but data objects will deviate from others because of any specific condition so it could be any specific condition then it is called as the contextual outliers suppose in january usually the temperatures will be very minimum right so gradually by the time of may it will reach to the maximum and from may again it will start decreasing till december so if at all suddenly in may if the temperature drops to the temperature that we see in january that is it drops to 10 degrees or 15 degrees celsius then because of some condition something has happened like you know a, fl a flood or a some some because of something because of some unconditional reasons the temperature has dropped right so because of any specific condition it is not obeying the general behavior then it is called as the contextual based on particular context or based on particular condition it is not obeying okay so this is all about this video in this video we learned what outliers are the one which does not the one which will not obey the general behavior are called as the outliers next what do you mean by outlier detection and what are the different techniques we have in outlier detection and what are the different types of outliers so these are all the things that we have learnt in this video i hope this video helped you and if yes hit the like button and also share it with your friends thanks for watching the video till the end let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic